Hello. In this video, we are going to see the two functions pivot longer and pivot wider from tidyr package. In the examples, we are going to see how we can transform the wide data into long data and long data back to the wide data, which we often require to do for analytical reporting. So let's see that. To begin with, let us see a data in which we have three columns and a serial number. And these three columns, we want to stack them together into one column in this way by making the data longer. In other words, we are going to adjust this data, which is a wide one, into a long data. Likewise, the data with serial number two as once again long data. Likewise, so on and so forth. To begin with, let us import the data quality. Hence, having loaded this data, this is the data set. Now, as you can see with this data set, first of all, I specify this data frame name the pipeline operator and the pivot longer function because I want to make the data longer. Now, while I want to make this data longer, I want to leave out the column serial number and I want to make these three columns stack one below the other. Hence, either we are going to specify the columns ABC or we are going to specify all columns except the serial number. How can we do that? Let's see. S N O. Now we want all the names of the variables to be captured into the variable called category, which we plan to do that here, category. So this will be the variable which will be created. And we want to put all the values in the variable called val. Let's do that. Values to, so we specify values to and val. Let's run this and hence, we have this data set as required. So what should we specify? We should specify all the columns or it, it can be with exclusion, all the columns where I have specified minus SNO means excluding SNO all columns, which implies column ABC. So whatever columns need to be done longer, first of all need to be specified and then the two new variables which are to be created. One variable with the variable names in it has to be with names to and the variable in which all the values will be stacked will be in values to. Similarly, this time let us consider another data set in which apart from one variable which we had last time as just one serial number. This time we are having two variables not to stack. So one variable is ID and another variable is group. What we intend to do is that we want to keep ID and group as they are and we want to stack policy A, policy B, policy B, these three variables one below the other, the values of these variables one below the other. Let's see how can we do that. First of all, to begin with, we need to load this data set. So hence, as you see that this data set has been loaded. Now with this data set, once again, we want to this time specify 
द कॉलम्स पॉलिसी ए पॉलिसी बी पॉलिसी सी वी कैन डू इट विथ वंस अगेन द सेम मेथड सो हेंस एज आई हैव रिटर्न ओवर हियर that i want all columns excluding these two columns to be stacked so hence this was written and names to and values values to was there as it is and now our data set accordingly has been created there is also a need many times to make the longer data wider so let's see that option also for making the data wider we are going to have the columns chosen from which we want column names now over here we intend to have column names from category values in category column there are values policy a policy b policy c we intend to have it in such a way that for policy a we want a separate column for policy b we we want a separate column for policy c a separate column with id and group untouched or i can say id and group distributed with the same values so now let's start creating the wider data so over here i am going to input the longer data then the pipeline operator the pivot wider function this time and in pivot wider function we are going to specify names from because this time we are going to do exactly opposite means we are going to create new columns instead of stacking the new column so here is names from and here comes values from because from this particular column the values are going to get populated in the respective columns which will be created let's run this hence we will see that with the qual wide as i had created over here the wide data accordingly has been created thanks for watching this video the link for accessing the data and the code will be given in the description box if you like this video please don't forget to click the like button and still if you have not subscribed to my channel do subscribe to my channel for latest updates from me thank you